Uh, my name is Aagje Kramer. I have been a veterinarian for uh, three and a half years now. I grew up on a dairy, uh, so I've been uh, in the industry for a while right now. We serve about 130 dairies over there. Our main business is dairy. That's what I usually do during the day, dairies. <laughs> I think that for all dairy farmers right now, it's very important that they get good, productive, healthy cow cows. And with cost prices getting up more and more, it's, it's important that cows stay healthy and uh, last for a long time. So if the start of that lays with the calves, the, uh, the way you feed them and raise them and make sure that they gain enough weight during that first period so they give more milk, uh, that's the way that we try to advise our dairy farmers right now. The whole rearing process of a heifer is two years of money uh, putting in and not getting money out. And that's the hesitation, it's more cost. I start for, uh, as a calf is born, is that it doubles weight when it's at weaning, so usually at 90 kilograms. And that means if you just do the math that they should grow about 800 grams a day during that period. Then, you know, first time of breeding, usually at 13, 14, or 14, 15 months. So you get them calving at 24 months. I think that's the main goal. And then as well, what we usually comment is that if they wean, they don't do any other changes around the period. So don't move the group or get them out of the group or put them in, out of the, in a different uh, facility. I think here in the Netherlands, the main uh, factor in this question is the uh, Yoni's program that we are in and uh, the salmonellosis. So um, if they're not free of those diseases, I would always recommend them to go to a milk replacer. The, the advantage of milk replacer is that you have a better control of what you're feeding your calves. It's consistent. If you feed whole milk, there's also al always a little bit of uh, difference in components. And then especially if you're going to feed uh, waste milk, I think uh, the whole uh, role of the uh, antimicrobial uh, discussions that we're having, it, it's, it's better not to do that because of the resistance of antibiotics that you can create with that. You know, I'm a veterinarian, so in, in that way uh, it's uh, easy to see that cow, uh, calves are uh, healthier when you use a uh, Life Start program. Um, so for my part, it, it, it's quite easy to make them see that it, it will uh, get the help of the calves better. You get less cow or less lung problems if they grow good and have enough energy to grow. And then uh, for other advisors, you can look at what the, the age of breeding is or the, the performance as a heifer and put that all together. So I think it's really important that a good start of those heifers uh, is going to make a long-lasting life as a dairy cow.